Digital mammography is a new mammographic technique enabling one to take images of breast tissue that are superior. They're superior in many ways. It's a win-win situation. The patients prefer it because they feel much happier. All the information about the mammogram in terms of dose and exposure is recorded on the film. The films are kept, they're archived electronically, so if the patient loses her mammograms, we can track them back and recover them and print them out again. They're better from the, from the point of view of the technicians and the radiographers because they don't have to muck around with cassettes and chemicals, so they're better for the environment because there are no chemicals going down the drain that are poisonous to the environment. It's better for the radiologists because the radiologists have a better diagnostic film. They have an image that they are able to manipulate. They can alter the contrast, the density, the magnification factors. They can extract much more diagnostic information from these mammograms. And the result is that you find more cancers. The results show that you get better cancer detection rate with digital mammography, particularly for the younger group of women with denser breasts, because we get better information. And at a centre like this, which is a leading centre of excellence, we now find that 40% of all our breast cancers arise in women under the age of 50. So these are young women with denser breasts. We need digital mammography. We were the first in the United Kingdom to have it. We've never regretted it. We've never looked back. We've done 45,000 women since that time, and I think we've delivered a lot of benefits to those women. This is a digital mammogram, and it's different to a normal mammogram because it's not recorded on an X-ray film. It's recorded on a high-resolution monitor. Now, this is a very nice uh, image of the right breast of a patient. Good quality image, lots of detail here, but the fact that it's on a high-resolution monitor means you can manipulate the image. And let's magnify things up a bit here. And we can see that, in fact, there are some little white specks in this area. Let's alter the contrast a bit. You can see there's little white specks there. What are they doing? Well, let's have a closer look. Let's get the other x-ray up. This is the same breast, but from a different angle, and gives us a slightly better view of those bits of calcification. And here they are. There. Now you can see quite clearly in an area of breast tissue that, to begin with, looked quite normal, we've been able to manipulate this image, magnify it up, and we are now seeing all those white specks. Those white specks represent calcification. That calcification represents a pathological process that is malignant inside the ducts of the breast there. Uh, this is ductal carcinoma in situ. If we leave it, that calcification is going to invade and form a truly invasive breast cancer. So we are enabled now to identify that this patient has a real problem and we're then able to make a tissue diagnosis with a different piece of equipment and actually make a histological diagnosis of cancer in this patient, which I think in many other circumstances we would not have been able to make without the technology. There's every chance that with um, old-fashioned analog mammography, um, it's much more difficult to identify these areas, particularly these uh, calcifications. And we know from latest research data that digital mammography will increase the rate of breast cancer detection, and in particular increases the rate of detection of these cancers presenting as calcification.